Today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite property, the distributive property. It's a lot of fun, you know you love to do it, but instead of being just plain old X's and numbers, we're going to add something very special into the mix. Do you know what that is? You said it, square roots. We're going to look at how to use the distributive property when square roots are involved. Let's take a look at one example here. In our first example, we have some plain old numbers that we're going to look at. 3 times x plus 4. And when we use the distributive property, really what we do is we multiply the 3 by the x and the 3 by the 4. That gives us our 3x plus 12. Over here, we're distributing a 7 into the 3x plus 10. Well, what we really have is 7 times the 3x. That gives us the 21x and 7 times the 10, that gives us the 70. We're going to use this idea of writing these out. It's really going to help us when we're working with the square roots. Take a look at this. In example number 1, we have the square root of 3 times this quantity, 5 plus the square root of 3, meaning we have to multiply the 5 in the square root of 3 and the 2 square roots of 3. So here's my recommendation. Let's write it out. 3, the square root of 3 times 5, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. And now we can multiply everything together nicely. This is 5 square roots of 3, and this is the square root of 9. This does not simplify any, but the square root of 9 does. It simplifies to the number 3. And so when I distribute the square root of 3 into this, I end up with 5 square roots of 3 plus 3. Now, be careful. A lot of people want to do this in their head. Just because you can do basic distributive property problems in your head, folks want to jump right into the square roots, and they start making a lot of mistakes. It's a great idea, at least when you're getting started, to write things out. Now, the next example is very similar to this. What I'd like for you to do is give that example a try using this as your guide. Please pause the video here and try example two. Let's take a look at how you did. On example two, we had two square roots of five times six plus two. And we're using the distributive property, two square roots of five times six, two square roots of five times two. And now let's do our multiplication. 2 square roots of 5 times the square root of 6. We multiply the numbers on the inside. That gives us our square root of 30. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 2 square roots of 30. Over here, we have 2 times 2, which is 4 square roots of 5. Now, once I do that, I should always check to see if anything can be simplified. Square root of 30 doesn't simplify. Square root of 5 does not simplify. And so this simplifies into this. Now, what if it's a little more complicated? Well, let's take a look at the next example. <clears throat> There's not a whole lot new going on here. We're distributing the square root of 14, and so I have the square root of 14 times 3, the square root of 14 times the square root of 2. That gives me 3 square roots of 14 here, and the square root of 28 here. Now I have to look to see if anything simplifies. Square root of 14, I checked in my list, went down the perfect squares, it doesn't simplify. Square root of 28, I went down my list, and I found out that 4 goes into 28 evenly. 4 times 7. And so I switched out the 28 with the 4 and the 7. Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 7 stays the same. So I have 3 square roots of 14 minus 2 square roots of 7. There's nothing to combine. It looks like I'm done with this problem. So really, the only thing that's a little different here is we have to simplify those radicals as we've done before. Example number 4 is very similar to this. I'd like for you to pause the video here and give that example a try. If you need a guide, use this as your guide. Let's take a look at the answer. On example four, we had the square root of six times seven plus the square root of 12. We distributed square root of six times seven, square root of six times 12. 
now we have 7 square roots of 6 and the square root of 72. 72 simplifies into 36 and 2, so we now have 6 square roots of 2 and 7 square roots of 6. And so written in simplest form, 7 radical 6 plus 6 radical 2. And that's how you use the distributive property when square roots are involved.